Grammy award-winning artist Thursa Defoe is a multidisciplinary artist from the Ojibwe and Oneida tribes. Her performance at the festival mesmerized the crowds with her evocation of the sacred eagle. <laughs> My name is Thurza Defoe. I'm from the Oneida and Ojibwe tribes, and uh, my native name is Gijigokwe. And today I was here uh, doing some programming, like performances, about uh, just doing some inspirational speaking about um, bringing people together of all tribes and all nations in celebration for American Indian Days. I was doing some hoop dancing and storytelling and some songs and just get, getting everyone really excited about today because it's an exciting day. Everyone's wearing their you know, traditional regalia and skirts and their families are coming out and it seems like a day to celebrate. This, this dance is very old because it speaks about um, the peace and the nobility of the human spirit but also the peace and the nobility that uh, Megizi, or the eagle, brings to us, right? We see this bird all the time depicted in pictures and in movies, and we look at those beautiful, beautiful wings that that eagle has, right? We see it soaring in the sky. This dance that you're about to see is an emulation, okay? An emulation of depicting of having a human being be like that eagle, okay? What that means is, it's to imagine ourselves of having eagle wings, that we have the ability to soar above all things. The tribal names are given to youth when, you know, like either you grow into your name or your name grows into you. And um, there are many different meanings to my name as well. And my grandma gave me my name, she had a dream. And so um, it was given to me that way when I was very young. Sometimes with the creating art and everything, I, I feel like it, it gives a, a neutral playing ground for people. Uh, it gives them a platform to express. And also, like being indigenous from different tribes and things, it also gives you a way to have a, the freedom of not being afraid to share. Um, because of like cultural appropriation and all these things, I feel as though that it gives it a great form to raise questions, raise awareness, raise consciousness. I think um, ideas of bridging the gap definitely evolves around like communication. I think um, not pointing out things that are like different, but how similar things are among tribes and also among like tribes around the world. Things are more similar and celebrating those, having things like Indian Days um, of bringing all people together to dance together, to, you know, um, sort of come out of your comfort zone because we all are so comfortable with what we know but to pushing each individual to try things that they don't know. And that takes the individual, you know, every day waking up, being grateful and then pushing themselves. So I, I encourage that with youth, and that's the great thing too about youth is that they're fearless, fearless. And uh, they have those, those natural born noble wings to just choom, fly to the future. I think that, uh, you know, the generation that's coming up and the generation I am in now, I think that 
definitely like uh, like influence each other and it's really great because when you know you have someone that really believes in something that takes not only a social responsibility but also like uses an art form that's maybe outside of something that is traditional like skateboarding for example and and put that into their like traditional ways I feel like um, elders it's so respectable among elders and they encourage it because it's like oh, that's what's happening right now. It's all about like living in the moment, but like taking those moments and looking at the past and having discernment of things that, that have not worked and taking all that and like moving into the future. I mean, even with storytelling, we have storytelling with music. Now we have it with film, documentaries. Um, it's, everything's becoming more accessible. We have to progress with the other world. We're like walking in two worlds. I'm just like really excited by life. I think there's there's this word in Ojibwe they say back home it's up a modest win and people say there's that what does that mean and that means like living life to the fullest. You know like we are here right now. You have this like one life to live and so you got to like fill that hoop, fill that fill that those moments up with with life and to like dive into something. Cuz like what do you got to lose?